From Stillwater, welcome to Fox College Football, powered by Ram Trucks, built to serve. A big-time scene for a big-time rivalry in the 114th edition of Bedlam as Oklahoma and Oklahoma State face off once again. The defensive coordinator said if those two guys play as well as they're capable of, they've got a good shot. Hurts with a straight drop, takes his eyes down, takes off Jalen Hurts. This is what he does best, just like that touchdown Oklahoma. From 28 yards out, and it takes them less than two minutes to find the end zone. Well, one thing you cannot do against an experienced quarterback that is a tremendous runner is turn your back. Watch the Cowboys defensively. The minute Hurts reads man-to-man -man coverage, he knows there's not even a spy in this case. He knows he's got an opportunity to beat one, and he's gone. The guy that comes in for him here, L.D. Brown, has raced him several times and beaten him several times. He's in there to block as Brown gets rid of it, finds a crossing Johnson, and Braden Johnson is inside the 10. It's first and goal at Oklahoma State. Although the last few weeks, I'm not sure what you're going to get. Boom or bust defensively. Here's Hubbard. Breaks a tackle. Reaches for the goal line. He's in for the Oklahoma State touchdown. And six minutes into the game, Brock, Bedlam going to Bedlam, huh? All offense. The motion man is C.D. Lamb. Hurts under pressure. He gets set. First to get there was Jarrett Bernard, and it's third and long. Tell you what, there are some really good kickers in college football this year, and this is one of them. Gabe Burkich, the red shirt freshman, coming right into your living room and is still perfect. Heavy dose of pass on this drive. Here's Johnson again. He's got a first down, but the ball comes out, and Oklahoma's got it. Parnell Motley, who's looking for redemption in this Bedlam game after he was benched against Oklahoma State a year ago, has the recovery for the Sooners. Of course, Oklahoma fans, big Colorado fans tonight. All day to throw, and Hurts takes advantage. A strike to Lee Morris to make it first and goal. Offset is Brooks. In motion is Lamb. They toss it to him. It's the reverse. Basquin throws, and it's Hurts for the touchdown. Lincoln Riley digging into the bag of tricks for the score. All the ball handling that it requires to go to C.D. Lamb and then the pitch to Basquin, and you can watch Jalen sell it pretty easily. That little pitch has some high risk, and then Basquin puts it right on the money. On third and four, Sooners bring pressure. He's got one on one. He's got Stoner, drops it in. First down inside the 20. It hooks through. And Oklahoma State is within a touchdown as this game goes to halftime. He rushes only three, so Hurts will have time. He steps up in the pocket. He scans the field. He's running out of time and sacked. Third time today that Oklahoma State brings Hurts down in the backfield. Sits here for the last year and a half, and man, is he making the most of this moment. Back to the air, to the outside. Johnson makes a man miss, and now down the sideline. Radley Hiles pushes him out. 36 yards for Braden Johnson, and it's first down. Bend, bend, bend. Yes, and, and see if you can put it and sustain a drive of a lot of plays. Hurts off play action, steps up in a crowded pocket, finds Jeremiah Hall for a big gain into Oklahoma State territory. He carries defenders all the way to the 36. 29 yards for the H-back. On third and two, he's in the backfield with Brooks. It is Brooks straight ahead, touchdown Oklahoma. He carried the load on a 93-yard drive, and he gets the glory. And I think that was trying to appease the superstar just a little. Play action. Wide open in the flats for the third consecutive week. Braden Willis has a touchdown. Fourth and ten, last gasp for Brown and the Cowboys. He's chased, he throws. Intercepted. Parnell Motley thought he'd got one during the first half. It was overturned. This one, it appears, will be good. And it is 34-16 Oklahoma. 
11 and 1 headed to the Big 12 championship game with one more opportunity to make their case for the college football playoff. Yeah, 